Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Garden, and this is Shinobi on the uh, Nintendo Switch. Here's the Nintendo Switch touch screen, here's a sneaky looking ninja. This is the Sega logo in uh, resplendent uh, Sega Blue. M2 uh, are responsible for this conversion. Uh, here is some 2D graphics and a tile screen. Lovely, we're into the game now. Um, yeah, Shinobi is an arcade game from 1987, he says with questioning tone, and apparently it runs on the System 16 board. Um, don't know about that. Anyway, as you can see from there, we had some features, including uh, the ability to rewind time um, as you're playing, and a stage select for stages that you have previously cleared. But we're just going to play the arcade mode Mission from stage one. one. And this is Mission 1, Pursue the Terrorists. See a little shinobi fellow here, um, who's got oversized legs compared to his body, is going to uh, run left and right and uh, throw shurikens at um, ne'er do wells and rescue children from um, evil sword wheeling oppressors, which is all very 1980s. It is a platform action game, as you can see. It has a great pace, um, mildly naive graphics uh, especially in the backgrounds there we've got um we've got the dude from altered beast there instead of marilyn monroe uh, so this has been altered over the arcade uh, machine uh, visually at least um sound wise it is uh, a corker the soundtrack is suitably awesome uh, your little ninja dude can as you could see from the previous level cross between planes uh, background and foreground he has ninja magic, and when he collects enough children, he gets, um, well, like a rocket launcher. It's like a ninja cannon. Uh, this dude here, uh, he's now going to throw fireball, fireballs at me for fun, because that's what he likes to do with his um, magic ninja abilities and glowing helmet. If you've got a glowing helmet, you're going to get shot in that helmet by this ninja. Mission so that's stage one. Finish. Fairly easy. Um, like I said, as an arcade game uh, from 987, it's pretty, pretty naive looking in a lot of respects. This bonus stage, however, is the finest bonus stage I've ever played in a ninja-based action game. It's actually a really good bonus stage. I love this. Love this. Back in the day, it was awesome. Um, so the main things I like about Shinobi. Um, are the pace of the game um, and just the overall badassery on, on show. Like you can walk up to people, kick them in the balls, you can slash them with a sword. You've got sort of context sensitive uh, animations and attacks, which is groovy. And you've got um, a platform a platform game with an interesting layout and um, fun enemies to kill. And for 10p back in the day, it was an awesome game to play. So on the Switch, we have a pretty decent conversion. Although, like I said, there are some graphical differences. Like, Spider-Man was a different colour there. In the original arcade machine, he was Spider-Man colours. In this one, he's green for some reason. Um, like I said, Mar Marilyn Monroe's sort of been excised for the old beast. One of the old beast beasts, which is, which is alright. Um... Oh, got some ninjas now attacking us. Um, and that's all I've noticed so far, to be honest. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much as you remember it. The scaling works pretty well. There's no massive amount of pixel distortion that I can detect or screen tearing or anything. Um, all in all, it's a classic arcade romp and it's well worth your time. So I picked this up in a recent switch sale and um, it cost me three quid it's a download only three quid download um, I pumped way more than three quid into this machine back in the day Ooh, that guy's not usually there interesting the gun guy he's not usually he's not usually patrolling there for some reason um, yeah three quid in the in the sale it will cost you six quid now uh, the sale stopped um, but for three quid, I would say this is an absolute bargain. Um, I love this game. 
I love this game. Love it, love it, love it. It was um, one of my favourites back in the day, and it's still very, very cool. And it's probably the best Shinobi game, to be fair. The original and best. Um, not saying that the uh, Shinobi games on the Mega Drive were bad, it's just that this um, has that arcade sensibility, and uh, it's fast paced, and uh, it's just very, very cool. So you've got extras in this. Uh, like I said, you can rewind time um, by pressing the shoulder button on the switch. So if you mess up, you can go back and fix your mistakes. You have a few screen filters to apply. Um, if you don't like pixel perfect mode, you can add scan lines. Um, and like I said, there's a level select. So you can, levels that you've cleared, you can practice them, which is a nice feature. So M2 have done a cracking job here. Uh, along with virtual racing, um, it is a I would say an essential download if you're a fan of arcade games from the 80s, or just like fun action games because it is just a fun action game. And this bonus stage is still very very cool. Oh, he's actually done it! He's actually killed all the ninjas. Lovely stuff. Yeah, for some reason um, the second bonus stage is much easier than the first one. The, uh, the way the ninjas come on Mission seems to be three. easier to deal with. Don't know why. Just is. Um, we're going to attack a logistics base here. You can see the backgrounds aren't um, aren't really all that. Um, like that mountain, mountain range in the background there, and skyline is a bit a bit, a bit meh, isn't it? A bit a bit Mega Drivey. Um, surprising that this game never really got a uh, conversion to the Mega Drive. It did come out on the uh, loads of home consoles. I think even the NES had a version of this, which was weird. Um, and they were all shite, from what I remember. The, I've played the PC Engine version, and it's no good. It's very ugly. I've played the Amiga version. The Amiga version's also crap. Um, I don't know if there were actually any decent versions of this game. Possibly played the Amstrad CPC one back in the day, but don't remember it so much. Uh, but I do remember them being very disappointed by the Amiga version of this game. It seemed to have about four colours on the screen. Um, the PC Engine version is just very, uh, very ugly, with some weird colour choices. But, um, yeah, that's Shinobi. Oh, he's using Ninja Magic here, because... Uh, those green ninjas kept spawning. They weren't going to leave me alone. Uh, Rescue the Kids thing kind of got dropped for Revenge of Shinobi and appeared again in Shadow Dancer and then was dropped for Return of. What was it called? Uh, Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. I dropped for that. But it's. Uh, I quite like it in here. I quite like the fact that you, you have to find the little fellas or ladies. I don't know. Or ghosts, by the look of the colour of their faces. Little ginger ghosts. And um, they power you up. So your shurikens can't hurt these shield-wielding badasses. But if you've got the old uh, stumpy ninja cannon, you can just blow them away. So that's groovy. Um, but you can only power up once per level. And sometimes some levels don't let you power up at all. And when you die, you lose your power up and you can't power up again for the whole of that level. Your ninja magic's different as well, doesn't it? On different levels, I believe. Although I don't use ninja magic so much. Maybe that's why I can't finish the game. Maybe I should use my ninja magic more. But um, it's the same as smart bombs and shooting ups. I just never... I just never remember that I've got, got that functionality there and uh, try and battle on through just my normal moves. Becomes a uh, turquoise Spider-Man. He's not, or not Spider-Man. Um, shoot in the face. Shoot the blue ninjas. So the different colour ninjas have got different attack patterns. The red ones kind of uh, run straight at you. The green ones kind of jump around. The blue ones exclusively do a massive jump. Um, is there another colour? Can't remember. Can't remember. There might be a gold one. But I might be misremembering that. Misremembering. Uh, yeah, the green ones kind of do run at you, but they also jump at you. There's a little ghost kid. Rescue the ghost kid. Red ones just want your blood. They're coming straight for you. 
Two ones, yeah, jump in an arc. As you can see here, they're all fairly easy to deal with, although slightly worrying when you first when they first come on the screen, kind of um, panics you a bit. Do throw anything sword at you. Lovely stuff. So Shinobi's always had these kind of like uh, fantasy sci-fi looking stages, like this logistics base looks a bit like a Bond villain's lair, doesn't it? Um, I don't know what they've got here, which requires logistics work. He didn't die there, I shot him with the, the cannon and he just jumped. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much inventory at the logistics base. It's more pipe work. Uh, this boss um, is always a pain in the butt. If you let it get on top of you. But the, yeah, you have to, uh, with the old switch, when you haven't got a uh, joystick or another control pad, this is quite irritating on the switch face buttons to get past this uh, re revolving golden god thing. The skull on the back. Yeah, I do quite like the uh, the fact that it's got some sort of sci-fi ninja stupidity in it. I love all that. Can't get enough because the 80s were all about the ninja. American ninja. Remember that? Uh, that was it. That's all I can think of. <laughs> yeah, the 80s were all about the ninja. Uh, well, there's Karate Kid. He's not really a ninja. Is he? He's more. He's a Karate Kid. He's not a. Uh, it's not a ninja. Yeah, you have to do this again. Oh man, I got shot in the freaking shin by a of fireball. Would you add him in a bit? And, uh. They're marching towards me in a relentless uh, attempt to crush me against an electrical beam. Nasty pasties. Never completed this game. For all the years I've played it, I've never been good enough to get past. Uh, there's a level where you kind of jump on wooden posts and like the green kind of frogmen jump at you randomly. And that's as far as I've ever been. I got shot in the foot again! Once you get past these rotating uh, gold fellas, the actual boss, uh, the fa wall face man, he's not that, uh, he's not that difficult to. Uh, Kill because he's only got the two attacks. But I am making an absolute meal of this. This is um, rather embarrassing. Um, and I do apologise uh, unreservedly for the lack of skill shown. Alright, let's try and not get murdered by this uh, robotic war face at the logistics base. That must be Dr. Logistics. He's the. Um, Logistics brain. He knows when all the trucks have to be on the road to deliver all the goods to all the um, evil people who need all their ninja supplies. Oh, I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Um, yeah, so this is still uh, a great bonus stage, even after the third time of seeing it. Uh, the one in Shadow Dance in the arcade is not very good. Uh, it looks cool, but it's not as good as this. This is uh, epic. Epic stuff, uh, ninja. Ninja did a ninja move in my face. So uh, yeah, this is about as far as I get. I don't get to uh, don't get to the boss on this stage. This stage uh, rather lazily uses the same mountain range background, uh, which is um, rather cheap, isn't it? Sega could have tried harder there. But anyway, awesome game, awesome game, recommended. All right, ta-ra. Hey! Hey! Hey!